Once, there was a young monk named Sato. He was a thoughtful and curious man, always eager to learn and grow. But Sato had a problem. He couldn't stop thinking. His mind was constantly racing, filled with endless thoughts about the past, worries about the future, and concerns about what others thought of him. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't quiet his mind. One day, Sato decided to approach Gautam Buddha for help. He bowed respectfully and said, Master, my mind is always busy. I can't seem to stop overthinking. It makes me anxious and tired. Please help me find peace. Buddha looked at Sato with gentle eyes and said, I will help you, Sato, but first, I have a task for you. I want you to visit the nearby village and bring back some water from the well there. But there's one condition, you must do this without spilling a single drop. Sato was puzzled by the request, but agreed. He took a pot and began his journey to the village. On the way, he noticed the beauty around him, but he remembered Buddha's words and focused on not spilling the water. Every step was taken with care. Every movement was made with awareness. He reached the well, filled the pot, and started back to the monastery, keeping his mind entirely on the task at hand. When Sato returned, not a drop of water was spilled. He proudly presented the pot to Buddha and said, Master, I have brought the water without spilling any. Buddha smiled and asked, Tell me, Sato, what were you thinking about while you carried the water? Sato paused and realized something. Master, I was only thinking about the water and how to carry it safely. I had no other thoughts. Buddha nodded. Exactly. You see, Sato, when your mind is fully focused on the present moment, there is no room for overthinking. Your thoughts cannot wander to the past or future. By focusing entirely on what you are doing right now, you can quiet your mind and find peace. Sato understood the lesson. He realized that his overthinking was a result of his mind constantly jumping from one thought to another. The key was to focus on the present moment, just as he had focused on carrying the water. From that day on, Sato practiced mindfulness in everything he did. Whether he was eating, walking, or working, he paid full attention to the task at hand. Slowly, the endless chatter in his mind began to fade, and he found the peace he had been seeking. Buddha's words echoed in his heart, the mind is like a pot of water. If it is constantly shaken, it will always be disturbed. But if it is still, it will become clear. Focus on the present moment and your mind will become as clear as still water. In time, Sato learned that the way to stop overthinking was not to force his thoughts to go away, but to gently guide his mind to stay in the present. The more he practiced, the more peaceful and joyful he became, living each moment fully and without worry.